how to do MIDI quantization in GarageBand. That's definitely um, a very important topic to figure out because with music that's in time will sound really good. Music that's not in time won't sound good. So what is quantization? How do you do it? Um, we'll get into that in this video specifically for GarageBand and it is just a snippet of um, that this tutorial snippet that I'm going to show you is taken from a more larger extensive tutorial course that I have and I'll leave that link in the description as well. It's like a two hour long course. It's for free and on YouTube and it just covers kind of everything you need to know for the super beginner of GarageBand. But if you're just looking to figure out how to do quantization and kind of what it what it is, just stick with this video and we'll get into it right now. So that gives you the idea of, of how flexible MIDI is. Um, the automatic way to do this time fixing the the actual term is called quantization is where you can see here it says time quantize so we can do this automatically and how we can do that is what we need to say we need to highlight all the notes so we can do that by clicking and dragging we can also do that by going command a which is like the select all term and when we do that, you can see here time quantize and there's this time quantize drop down and then there's this Q here. So we want to quantize by, in our case, we want to quantize by one whole note. So this will be, um, might be tough to grasp if you don't know much about um, time signatures, but I'll try to explain as best I can. So basically within these bars here, we have one bar, two bar, three bar, and four bar, right? And within these big bars, we have smaller bars. And so those smaller bars can get up to one sixty-fourth um, kind of bars, if you will. So we want all our lines on the first part of the bar, right? We want all these ones on the one, we want all these ones on the first part of bar two, and these ones on the first part of bar three, and these ones on the first part of bar four. So that means I want to quantize by one whole note. So I can do command A, go to one whole note, and, and See, it shifted it all for me. What you can do almost as a safeguard, uh, you can most of the time quantize by 1 16th note, and that should do the trick because 1 16th is a small, um, fast note within the bar, and if you quantize by 1 16th, it will usually lock it into place. It's basically saying shift it to the closest closest bar that's that's near where you played